Hey guys, Silent Knight here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the current state of Star Citizen. In case you don't know, Star Citizen is a space simulator video game for the PC. However, if you ask me what it is, I will tell you that it is so much more than that. Star Citizen is an MMO, RPG, FPS, and a space sim, all in one. It holds the record for the most money made for a video game through crowdfunding. Because of the seemingly endless budget it has, it is a game that promises the universe, and games that promise the universe take massive amounts of time to develop. Currently, Star Citizen is at version 2.6.1. Don't let the version number fool you, though. The game is still in alpha. The developers allow backers of the project to play versions of the game while it is in development. So you might be wondering if you should back Star Citizen so that you can play the game now. The short answer is no, and I'm about to show you why. As of the current version, Star Citizen's frames per second is largely affected by the server you are playing on and how many players are on it. Take a look at my FPS in the Crusader module, which is the Persistent Universe. Just by looking at this, you would think one of two things. Either the game is highly unoptimized for my hardware in its current state, or I must be running it on an under rig. Neither of which is the case, and I'll explain why. Star Citizen's netcode in the Persistent Universe is awful. The developers early on chose to have tons of game mechanics, including unnecessary ones, which reside on the server. Their hopes were that by doing this, it would be harder for players to cheat. Which is true, but... The unforeseen consequence of this in a game as massive as Star Citizen is that this makes the packets being transferred between the client and the server so much larger than what they should be. Your FPS is linked to how fast the server can send and receive packets, and since they are massive packets, they are processed very slowly, causing your FPS to struggle. This issue is something the people marketing Star Citizen at this moment try very hard to hide when they are showing beautiful 60 FPS gameplay. The sad fact is that the state of things right now is not that great. Take a look at my FPS in my hangar. Looks a lot better, right? This is because I'm not connected to other players and the game is not constantly sending and receiving those large packets like in the Persistent Universe. I'm running this on a GTX 1070, and it runs great for the most part. Now take a look at my FPS in Arena Commander and Star Marine, the space fighting and first person shooter modules respectively. These are separate from the Persistent Universe and are where you go if you want to have a quick deathmatch. These modes are online, and my FPS is still good. This is because I have heard these run on a newer netcode than the Persistent Universe. So why haven't the developers updated the Persistent Universe's netcode yet? The answer is that they are working on it, and it is expected in the next major release, 3.0, which is expected to release this summer. This is why I suggest you wait to back Star Citizen if you are looking to get a good experience right now. Because of the Persistent Universe being unplayable due to its netcode issue, if you do by now, you can pretty much only do four things in the game. You can enter your hangar and look at your ship. You can visit part of a city the devs are making called Area 18 even though there isn't much to do there. And you can ship battle in Arena Commander or fight on the ground in Star Marine, which are both very incomplete game modes as of now. If you want to back the project just to help the devs, then go ahead. I'm not stopping you. I'd actually encourage you to. The developers have worked very hard on this, and the development process is very transparent. But don't expect to get much content right now unless you can handle frame rates that are constantly as low as 20 FPS. I plan to do another one of these when the 3.0 update comes out, so please subscribe if you would like to be informed if the netcode issue gets fixed. Thanks!